Hello everyone, welcome to Barca News. It is February 2nd, 2024, and today Xavi Hernandez once again complained about his work not being valued at FC Barcelona. So we're gonna discuss his statements, but more importantly, why the Barcelona coach needs to stop making these kind of statements. We have a lot to discuss, so let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, my name is Mo, and before we begin with the news, just a quick reminder to make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment, all of this helps this channel continue to grow. Also, if you are looking for any Barcelona jerseys or merchandise, make sure you hit the kit bag, and if you are looking to place any sports bets, make sure you hit the bet us, both links for kit bag and bet us are down below in the description. Now, beginning with the news that today in the pre-match press conference ahead of La Liga clash against Alaves that is set to be played tomorrow, Xavi Hernandez gave his reasons for why he is resigning his post as Barcelona manager by saying that since the objectives are not being met, that's why he has decided to leave. But then he followed those statements by complaining once again about his work not being valued at FC Barcelona by saying, Outside here, our work is highly valued. The real football people, the professionals, all the coaches congratulates us as a staff. Imanol, Arrasate, Marcelino. But here it is not valued. This is my feeling. I think we have done a good job and I still hope to do a better job between now and the end of the season. I'm leaving because it's two and a half years and I think that the process of being Barca coach doesn't pay off. You fight against a lot of things and that causes wear and tear. I think that you don't enjoy the day to day and I've seen that in coaches who have had, who have suffered even when they've won. So Xavi Hernandez once again complaining about not being valued as Barcelona coach. Of course he had said this in the past. He had also added that the pressure and the demands of the job were too much. And I have to say, and I know a lot of people have been complaining about my quote-unquote shabby rants, but I have to say it because it needs to be said. And what needs to be said is that shabby Randis needs to stop complaining and needs to stop crying, needs to stop playing the victim's card. It doesn't look good. It doesn't make him look good. It's pathetic. And honestly, it's beneath him. Xavi Randis is an absolute Barcelona legend. He won two trebles and a sextuple. He's a Spanish legend having won two Euro Cups and the World Cup and he's one of the greatest football players to ever play this sport. So this is honestly beneath him and I honestly don't understand why he's doing this and I don't understand what he can get out of it. First of all, he complains that the pressure and the demands of a Barcelona coach is too much and to that I say, well, what did you expect? This is FC Barcelona, one of the biggest and greatest clubs in the world, not in Spain, not in Europe, in the whole world, of course the demands and the pressure is going to be high. Imagine being the CEO of Apple or Microsoft or Google and saying, oh my God, the pressure is too high. Well, of course it is. These are some of the biggest, most profitable companies. And so is FC Barcelona. It's one of the biggest and most profitable football clubs in the world. Of course the demands and the pressure is going to be high. Now, have, now saying this also proves the point that Xavi Hernandez is not a great coach and is not the right coach for FC Barcelona because what separates the elite coaches from the rest is that the elite coaches can handle the pressure and demands. They flourish under this kind of pre pressure while the rest of the coaches crumble. And that's what has happened to Xavi Hernandez. He has crumbled under the pressure and demands of being a Barcelona coach, which proves that he's not a great coach and he is not the right coach for FC Barcelona, or at least for the moment, because who knows, maybe down the road he gets more experience and he becomes great. But for now, this proves that Xavi Hernandez is not the right man for the job. Now, the second thing Xavi continues to complain about is that him winning La Liga is not being valued within Barcelona. And of course it's valued. We're all very thankful that Xavi Hernandez came during a difficult time of the club and won us La Liga after three or four seasons that we hadn't won it. But what we don't value is the fact that the team is not performing well. 
the fact that we are in fourth in La Liga with the Champions League spots for next season being at risk, the fact that we got humiliated not lost or gotten knocked out because that can happen, but we got humiliated in the Spanish Super Cup and the Copa del Rey. Those are the things that we don't value, but we do value winning La Liga. But I think the problem is that what Xavi Randes thinks is because he won La Liga, that all of a sudden we should thank, thank him for the rest of our lives and we should not demand anything else. And to that I say that Xavi Randes needs to come to terms with reality. That's not how things work. Yes, thank you that you won La Liga, but you're still going to be asked to perform. Just because you won it last season doesn't mean you get to put your feet up and relax and that's it. And that's not only in the world of football, that's in life. If you had a great year at work, doesn't mean you get to slack off the next year by saying, oh, well, I worked great last year, so I'm okay, I'm off the hook. No, you would get fired. Well, it's the same thing as a manager of a club. It's great that you won something, it's great that you achieved something, but you're still going to be expected to achieve more. And that's not just Barcelona, like Xavi Hernandez is trying to suggest. This is every football club in the world, whether big or small. And I'll give you examples for those people who like to say this is only Barcelona and that Barcelona is toxic. Vicente del Bosque got fired less than 48 hours after winning La Liga because Florentino Perez did not like his style of coaching. Not only had he won La Liga that season, he had won a total of two Champions League, two La Ligas, a Spanish Super Cup, and a UEFA Super Cup, and he was still fired. Did Vicente del Bosque cry about it? No. He joined Span Spanish national team, and he won a World Cup. Ancelotti, in 2015, got fired after winning the Champions League. Not La Liga, the Champions League. Did he cry about it? No. He got other jobs. He continued to win trophies. He came back to Real Madrid and won another Champions League. And the day he stops winning, he will be fired again. Because that's the demands of the job. You are asked to continue to perform regardless of what you have achieved in the past. Mitchell, he was the coach of Rayo Vallecano and the coach of Huesca. And with two, both clubs, he won the second division championship. With both clubs, he got him promoted to first division and with both clubs, he got fired because he couldn't get out of rele relegation zone. Did he cry about it? No, he joined Girona. He also got him promoted, and now he's sitting at the top of the league. So this is the reality of football. It's great that you perform, but you need to continue to perform. And Xavi Hernandez needs to understand this reality because otherwise he's gonna have a big reality check when he leaves Barcelona. Because when Xavi Hernandez goes to other clubs, he is not gonna get the benefit of the doubt or the leeway that he had at Barcelona for being a Barcelona legend. Other clubs are not going to care that Xavi Hernandez is a Barcelona legend. And other clubs are gonna rate Xavi based on his work as a manager, not as his work as a player. And the moment he stops performing at other clubs is the moment that he gets fired. And he needs to understand that because at Barcelona, he had a lot of leeway because he was a Barcelona legend. If he wasn't a Barcelona legend, he would have been sacked a long time ago. And this is not my opinion. This is fact. John Laporta said so today. And not only did Xavi Hernandez get a lot of leeway because he's a Barca legend, he in fact got the job because he's a Barcelona legend. So he should be thankful to Barcelona, not the other way around, because Barcelona gave him the opportunity of a lifetime because he went from coaching Qatar, which is almost as coaching your Sunday league team, to coaching FC Barcelona, one of the biggest clubs in the world. Where have you ever seen that happen? Never. He got the job not based on his resume, not based on his merit. Xabi Hernandez got the job because he's a Barca legend, because Jan Laporta wanted him to be a Barca athletic coach so he can get the experience and then get promoted to the first team. But Xabi said, no, I don't want Barca Athletic. I want the first team or nothing. And he got it. Why? Because he's a Barcelona legend. But that's not going to fly at other clubs. Other clubs are not going to care that he's a Barcelona legend. So he needs to understand the reality of football. It's great that you performed but you need to keep performing or you're gonna get fired. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, I don't understand what Xabi thinks he's gonna get out of this. All he's doing is damaging his reputation, but he's also damaging his future prospects for other jobs because other clubs are gonna look at his portfolio and said, okay, his project did not work at Barcelona, but on top of that, 
He's constantly complaining about the pressure. He's constantly complaining about the demands. He's constantly complaining about his work not being valued. Why do we want this coach? Why do we want a coach whose project did not convince anyone, but most importantly, he continues to complain about everything? We don't want that. So what Xabi Hernandez needs to do is he needs to stop complaining. He needs to stop crying. He needs to stop playing the victim's card for the sake of his reputation and for the sake of future jobs. Now, I know a lot of people like to say that I hate Xabi and that's why I criticize him. If you criticize something, it doesn't mean you hate it. It's the opposite. The reason why I make these criticisms is because I love Xabi. Xabi gave me some of the best moments as a Barcelona fan. He came during a difficult time in the club's history. He won us the first La Liga title in three or four seasons. And for that, I'm gonna be eternally thankful. And because I love Xabi Hernandez as the player and the legend that he is, I plead with him, please stop doing this. It did not go well in Barcelona. That's fine. We all wanted you to succeed. We all wanted that dream of you being a Barcelona legend as a player and as a coach. It didn't work out. Things happen. But please, stop making these statements. Pick yourself up. Brush yourself off. Continue working hard. I'm sure one day you'll be great. Today is not it, but that's okay. But crying and playing the victim's card is not the solution. Anyways, that is all I wanted to say, guys. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. And as always, peace, Kawarsa, now and forever.